Robert Vines started filming already having worked as a director in several theaters and having a huge experience in script writing. Thus, his first movies were mostly screen adaptations of famous theater plays. Looking ahead, I must say that unfortunately appearance of sound brought to destruction of decent part of all silent movies ever made, and therefore we cannot look through all Robert Vines' filmography. However, one of the oldest Robert Vines movies is saved and available. My name is Julia Sulinen and today you'll get to know more about so-called father of German expressionism, Robert Vines. The movie called Fear tells us a story about a person who realizes that he has only seven years left for living. Also, there is some magic curse, devastating sense of shame and even moral in the end. Speaking about visuals, there we see basic knowledge of editing, plain and natural interiors and main heroes functioning in a realistic manner. Probably the only thing the film can be distinguished for is performance of Conrad Veidt, who plays the main hero. His vivid acting even breaks through overexposure. By the way, you'll hear this name quite soon again, so just keep it in mind. You see, in those days cinema makers already could tell all types of stories – dramas, comedies, fairy tales. And so it was about time to think of how to tell these stories. In the beginning of the 20th century, the whole world was lost and broken and society drowned in despair and confusion. Creative people were lucky enough not to keep these destructive emotions in themselves, releasing them through art. So when expressionism in painting was in its full bloom, appearance of expressionistic motion picture was just a question of time. However, when it finally appeared, it was a cultural shock for most of the people. Because, you know, back in those days, as you may have already noticed, movies were all photorealistic, while expressionistic films were all about unreal, modified and delusional objects and characters in a gloomy, threatening and drawn world. Even though Robert Wiener is called the father of German Expressionism, yet it's obvious that the cabinet of Dr. Caligari was a common work of several extra talented people. First of all, representatives from Expressionistic Union called Sturm or Storm, Walter Raymond, Walter Rorick and Hermann Worm were the authors of Sharp Flat World with the Deformed Perspective, Houses Ready to Fall Down and called fake lights. This space itself looks killing. Original script written by Karl Mayer and Hans Janowitz revealed the idea of cruel government manipulating citizens beyond their will. But Robert Wiener considered that it's a bit too much for the audience to witness the birth of new cinematic vision combined with deep, accusing, almost revolutionary plot. So he added a frame structure to the story, starting and finishing narration in mental hospital. Vina reduced the revolutionary effect, considering hallucinations less provocative. Actors in the movie are deeply involved in the experimental process, sharpening their moves and overacting a little. Conrad Veidt and Werner Krauss succeeded in that more than others, as they managed literally to become a part of this flat, grotesque world with their harsh, almost robotic moves, absence of semi-gestures and vivid mimics. All these things together brought huge success to the cabinet of Dr. Caligari and Robert Vinay. And let us not forget that in the 20s cinemas already become not only the way of self-expression, but also the source of income for many people in the industry. So there is no surprise that after such screaming success, Robert Vinay started filming another expressionistic movie. Genuine or A Tale of a Vampire tells us about a priestess of love from some bloody tribe. 
she found herself on a slave market and was bought by a quirky old man. Very fresh and brave story touching the theme of infernal, uncontrolled sexuality, especially for those times. This could be a masterpiece like The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, but like every other sequel made in a hurry, ended up being just a piece, a piece of art, expressionistic of course. Decorations there are either weird and chaotic or exotic and oriental. In both ways it looks cool, yet actors become lost, merging with spooky walls and carpets. Sometimes due to costumes, sometimes due to traditionalistic, not enough expressive performance. Characters are vivid and eccentric, but seem to be half-motivated, as the whole story seems to be half-witted. Probably the best and the most recognizable scene in Genuine is the scene of seduction and murder, as it reveals the same motive of terrifying manipulation. I wish Tarantino made a remake of this movie.